we're going to be doing the muscle of Sonic. So it's going to be the tan white part, uh, the tan mouth part of it, where the mouth goes. Okay, we're going to start with the magic circle. Sorry. Oh, and I also switched um, hooks, and it's going to be a four point, I believe it's a, sorry, a 4.25 millimeters, which is a G hook. So again, a 4.25 millimeter G hook. Okay, so I started with a magic circle. And I'm going to single crochet it into it. Okay. So again, single crochet. That's okay. And so I'm gonna put it into the loop without yarning over, and then I'm gonna pick up my yarn, bring it up, and yarn over and pull through. So again, we go in, we yarn over bring it up, we yarn over, and it's going through. That's a single crochet. So I need to do eight of this. So again, okay, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, okay, now uh, we're going to be working in the round. We're not going to um, join with a slip stitch. So what we're going to be doing is on the next round, um, before we continue, we're going to mark our last stitch so we can know where we began. And we're going to do a single crochet in the next stitch. And then we're going to do two half double crochets in, the, in each of the next two stitches. And then we're going to do a single crochet in the next four stitches and, a two, and two half double crochets in each of the next two stitches. Okay? And then we're going to single crochet the last stitch. We, got, we have to end up with 12 of them. So we're going increase, to increase to 12. So I'm going to find my next stitch. Okay? And it's going to be one single crochet. Okay, one single crochet, and then on the next stitch we're going to do two half double crochets. So we're going to have an increase here. So this is our stitch and then we're going to look for our next one and we're going to do two in the same stitch. So. In the same stitch, I'm going to do two half double crochets, like so. Okay, be careful if you're stitching two. Um, sorry about that. Um, okay, so we did a magic circle. We stitched eight into the magic cir circle. So we um, we did a single crochet of eight, and then we're going to be working on the round. So we went. We went and we did one single crochet in the first stitch and then we went and did two half double crochets in the next stitch. And now my pattern, or the part of the pattern, pattern is telling me, so I need to do two more half double crochets in the next stitch. So I'm gonna yarn over, I'm gonna look for my stitch, I'm gonna pick up my, yarn through and then I'm gonna stitch slip through all three I'm gonna do the same yarn over go through the stitch pick up my yarn and yarn over and pull through all three so now my pattern is telling me that I need to do two regular um, stitches in the next two so two single crochets that's one that's two. Okay. Now I need to do 
two half double crochets in the next two stitches so I'm gonna go ahead and yarn over look for my next stitch and go pull through yarn over and pull through all three and again in the same stitch I'm yarning over I'm going through I'm bringing out my yarn yarning over and pulling through all three okay now that's only one so I need to get another so I'm, I found my other, my other little stitch. So I'm gonna go through it, take it out, and then I'm gonna go through all three, and then again, and then I'm gonna go through all three. Okay. Now my pattern is telling me that I need to do. I need to do one single crochet in the last stitch. So only one. So I found my stitch, actually let me look for it, okay. So I found my stitch, I am pulling out, I'm yarning over and I'm going through. So this is going to be my last one. So I should have 12, one, so that's one, it's, it's a little hard to, to see because it's um, rolling up. So let me see if I can count 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Okay, so I'm good. So I'm going to pull my little yarn marker to the other side so it can show me where the last stitch was so I don't get confused. That's one of the reasons that I don't like working in the round because you can't lose your stitches very easily. I would rather just join and continue. But this pattern doesn't call for that and to be honest um i think that having that line because usually when you join your rounds you get a front and a side so this is the back and you see there's a little line going through it and this is the front there's nothing so that's i guess one of the reasons why you work in the round so you don't have any any markings on it or anything like that but i it's kind of hard to keep track of my stitches. I'm very, I'm very clumsy like that. Or, so I'm gonna go to my third round. Now in my third round, my pattern is asking me to do a single crochet in the next two stitches. So for whatever pattern you're following, try to go one stitch at a time. If you do that, it'll be less confusion. Don't try to like do the whole try to remember the whole thing no just break it down into small stitches that you know so you can keep on going okay so i did one single crochet in my first stitch now it's calling for another one so two in each stitch okay now i need to do two half double crochets in each of the next two stitches so we're gonna go do the same thing as we did in the round two, but we're gonna go up to 16. We need to have 16 of them by the time we're done. So I'm yarning over, I'm looking for my stitch. I'm pulling out, picking up my stitch, yarning over and going through all three, okay? I need to do another one in the same stitch because we're going up, remember? that's This is when your stitches, when you do them too tight, sometimes it's hard to get into the other stitches. So that's one, and I need to do two more in the next stitch. Sorry. Okay. So I need to yarn over, look for my other stitch, go through, grab my yarn, pull my stitches, and pull through. And I need to do one more in the same stitch. Okay. Now my pattern, <coughs> excuse me, it's telling me to do single crochets in the next four stitches so no more increases for four stitches so I'm going through coming out turning over and pulling through two I'm pull, poking through bringing my yarn over and then pulling through two and that is going to give me two and then it's That's three. This is my last one. Four. 
that's four. Now I go back to my pattern and my pattern is telling me I need two half double crochets in the next, in each of the next two stitches. So I'm increasing again. So I'm yarning over, I'm looking for my stitch. I'm going through, bringing my yarn out, pulling up, yarning over and going through all three. And I have to do the same thing. I have to do the same thing in the same stitch. So, turning over and going through all three. Now I have to do the same thing in the next stitch because my pattern is calling for two. So, turning over, going through two in the same stitch, I'm pulling through out, picking up my stitches, turning over and pulling through. Now, after that, my pattern is asking me to do a single crochet in the last two stitches. Okay, so I should have two stitches left if I did my counting right. So that's one, two. Okay, that's two. So I should have 16. Okay. So that's one, one, two, three, four, six, seven, eight. 16 okay 16 so I'm pulling my little mark yarn over so I can kind of know where it starts and where it ends and I'm doing round four now so it's kind of hard to see the rounds but kind of works into a spiral that's one two and this is three okay so now number four it says single crochet in the next three stitches so that means I need to do one single crochet in the next two stitches. I find my stitch, okay, I grab my yarn, I yarn over and pull through the two. That's one. That is two. And that is three. Okay, we did three single crochets and the next three stitches. Now we're going to do on the fourth stitch, we're going to do a um, half double crochet in the same stitch. So we're gonna do two half double crochets in the same stitch. So on your fourth stitch, you're gonna do two half double crochets. So let's go. Okay. One, two, three, okay. And then I'm gonna do two more half double crochets on the next stitch. So on stitch five, um, on stitch four and five, you're gonna do two half double crochets on each one. So you're doing an increase in those two stitches. We're gonna do a single crochet in the next six stitches. So one, Two, three, um, sorry, four, Okay, let me just double check that one because it's a little tight and I'm not sure. Okay, six. So, six. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. So this is a... Let me just double check. So that's two. One, two, three, four, five, six. Six. I think I did seven. Let me just make sure. It's a little hard when you work on the round. So I'm looking for the ones that have the two half double crochets together. And that's it right here. So let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six. So six. Okay. Now we're gonna be doing two half double crochets in the next two stitches, so we're gonna make another increase. So I'm gonna look for my stitch, gonna yarn over, 
go through, pull out, and go through all three. And in the same stitch, I'm going to do the same thing. And then I'm going to do the next one again. Okay. Whoops, I did a half double crochet, uh, two half double crochet, uh, half double crochet. Sorry, a double crochet. I don't know, I'm so tongue tied today. Okay, so I'm gonna do a half double crochet. I'm going to, going through all three, and I'm gonna go ahead and do another one in the same stitch because we're doing an increase. Now, we're gonna be doing a single crochet in the last three stitches. So let's see. One, two, three. Okay. So I should have be having four. 20 stitches okay you can count back if you want I'm not gonna do that because if I have them or not I'm not gonna go back I'm lazy like that sometimes and it doesn't really matter that much unless you skip like five or six stitches then yes but one if you don't mind it it's not a big deal so now we're gonna start with um, round five but if you want to come back you have to have 20 for the fourth round now I'm gonna do the fifth round Okay, and it says that by the end of this round, I need to have 24 stitches. So we're gonna do again some increases. So we're gonna do four single crochets in the four in the first four stitches. Okay. 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 So that's one. Two, three, so we have three and I need one more, three, four, and that's why it's a good idea to have your written pattern next to you so you can always go stitch by stitch, okay, so now I need to do two half double crochets in the same stitch for two stitches, so we're going to do an increase. So we're going to yarn over, look for our stitch, come up, and pull through all three after yarning over. And in the same stitch, I'm going to do the same movement. So I'm going to go in, I'm going to take out, and then I'm going to yarn over and pull through all three. And if you are finding it hard, just go ahead and fold under the stitch so you can have more control over your crochet, okay? Okay. So now we're going to look for the next stitch and we're going to do the same thing and increase. So we're going to yarn over, we're going to go through, we're going to pull out, and then we're going to go ahead and yarn over and go through all three. And we're going to do the same thing. So two half double crochet. Now, after my increase, I'm going to go ahead and do eight single crochets in the next eight stitches. So one per stitch. So that will be one, two, three, four, okay, five. Five and I need three more, five. Six, seven, eight, eight. And as you can see, the shape is already forming. It's like a little cone, like a little half circle cone. I don't know what you would want to call it, it's like the little snout. Okay, so I'm, I'm on eight already, eight stitches. And then now my pattern calls for two half double crochets in the next two stitches. So we're going to do another increase. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and um, 
yarn over look for our next stitch okay and pull through all three so we're gonna do one more in the same stitch okay yarn over and pull through all three stitch um through all three loops so we're gonna look for our next stitch and we're gonna do another increase in that stitch so we're gonna go ahead and pull through all three and then we're gonna do the same thing yarn over pull through pull out and pull through all three okay now I'm done with my two increases and the pattern says that I need to do four stitches on the last I'm gonna do four single crochet stitches on the last four stitches sorry it's a little repetitive but I need to say it out loud so that I don't get confused so that's one two three three four and that is my last one okay so I'm gonna put the little yarn to mark where my last stitch was okay and I'm just going back and forth and then after I'm just gonna pull the yarn it's gonna come out you're not gonna see it but I want to make sure that I'm in marking the round so that I don't get confused okay so I'm gonna unwind a little bit more and I, again I'm using the red heart super saver in tan it looks kind of white but it's tan it's like a beige tanny color um, there's two different types of tans that they have for the red harp. This is what uh, was available in my local store. So this is what I grabbed. I didn't want to go to different stores looking for it, the particular um, color. So that's what I got. Let's see. We were in... Okay. So we went up to 24 stitches. So if you count back, you should have 24 stitches. Now for round six, we're going to do a single crochet in the next five stitches. Okay? So you see the pattern now? how it's increasing so we're gonna go ahead and look for our stitch okay and we're gonna do a single crochet so that's one two three four five Six, six, I believe that was it, six. Let me just double check. And it says, oh no, I needed to do it for five. Sorry, so we'll take one out and we'll double check. So we'll start at one, two, three, four, five, five stitches. And we have one, two, three, four, five, six rounds, okay? So now, for the sixth stitch, we need to start an increase. So we're gonna do a half, two half double crochets in the sixth stitch for an increase, and then we're gonna do another one on the on the eighth stitch. Okay, so again, and that's my first increase, and on the eighth stitch, I'm gonna do another increase. That's my first increase in my second increase and I'm done okay now I need to look at my pattern and see how many stitches I need to do now I need to do 10 stitches on the next 10 I need to do 10 stitches of single crochet on the next 10 stitches sorry get a little confused so one and I will write this pattern down in the description box for you guys I'm gonna have to part it like the other one, but it will be there. Just look for the videos. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Oops, eight, eight, nine, ten. And I know this video is a little bit long and slow, but I'm learning the pattern as I go along with you guys. So we're 
we're basically finding out how to do it, both of us, okay? And I just find that it's better this way because I can't just do it and then redo and redo. I get bored like that. So, okay, so we did our 10 stitches. I go back to my pattern and I look at where the 10 stitches are. And now we're going to do another increase. So it's two double crochets. Oh. I think we're going to have to redo row, row 5 because the pattern's calling for double crochet and I did half double crochet. So we're going to have to redo the whole pattern for those two rows. So I'll probably edit this out and start again. So this is 1, that's 6, and I'm going to do 5. Okay, that's the last one, so this is number four. Okay. One, two, one, two, three, four. So I have four. One, two, three, four. So I have four. This is my last stitch. So now I'm gonna start row five all over again because I messed up. So I'm gonna do four. I'm gonna do four single crochets in the next four stitches. So just remember, it's a trial and error, especially when you're doing your first sample. So that's two, three, four, okay? And now we're gonna do our increase. We're gonna do two double crochets. So on the fifth, we're gonna do two double crochets. So that one, you pull through two, and then you pull through two. So you're working it on twos. And we're going to do the same thing in the same stitch. So we're going to pull through two. And then we're going to pull through two. And that's my increase for that one. And we're going to do another increase on the next one. So I'm going to yarn over, go through, bring it out, work through two, work through two. And I roll, yarn over, go through, come out. Pull my stitches so they're not too tight, and I'm gonna go through two and then go through two, and that's my two increases. So now I'm in row five, remember, okay? So now I'm gonna do single crochets in the, eight, in the next eight stitches. I'm gonna do one, two. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay. Now I go into my pattern and I and I look very carefully now because. I don't want to redo it. So I'm going to do another increase of double crochets in the next two stitches. So I'm going to yarn over, find my stitch, go through, work through two at a time. Again, go through the same stitch, work through two, and then work through two. That's my first increase. And then I'm going to go to the next stitch and I'm going to increase again. So I'm going to go through two and then through two. Same stitch, through two, through two. And that's my two increases. So now we're gonna do single crochets. And we're gonna be doing eight single crochets. Okay? So we're gonna do eight single crochets. Gonna double check where I'm at. Okay. Let's see. Oh no, this is my second increase. So you see I got lost in my in the pattern itself. So okay, so I already oh I'm gonna do the last four single crochets. So one, oops. One, 
two. Three, four. Okay. So let's repeat the pattern because I know I confused you guys a little bit. And it has to look somewhat like this. It's the snout and then it starts flaring out on the sides. So I guess she wants to make sure that it's like a little thing in it. See? Okay. So let's resume. Num round number five. We're going to do a four single crochets in each stitch. So for the first four stitches, you're going to do one single crochet for each one. Then you're going to do an increase of a double crochet on the two stitches that follow. So you're going to do two single crochet, two double crochets on one stitch, which will be stitch number five. And on stitch number six, you're going to do another, another increase of two double crochets. Then you're going to do eight stitches on the next on the next eight stitches, you're going to do eight single crochets. And then on stitch 9 and 10, you're going to do another increase. So on 9, you're going to do two double crochets. And on 10, you're going to do two double crochets. And then you're going to do <coughs> single crochets on the last four stitches. And you should have 24 stitches. Okay? And it's the same thing. It's just that... Because they are double crochets, they, they look longer. So they give you a different look than if you just kept them in in half doubles. So now we're going to do number row number six. So I'm going to do the same thing. And that's how I was able to find my way back. Because I keep on putting, it's like leaving little breadcrumbs with the, with the um, other color yarn when I'm doing my slip um, notches. So... On row six, it's asking you for five single crochets in the next five stitches. So I'm going to start. One, two, three, four, five. So I'm doing five, five, and then I'm gonna do an increase of double crochets. So on stitch number six, I'm gonna do two double crochets. So that's gonna be one, work through two, work through the two. Yarn over, go through the same stitch, pull out, yarn over, go through two, go through two. So again, on stitch number seven, I'm gonna do the same thing. So I'm going to yarn over and go through two and then go through two. Yarn over, go through the same stitch, pull out, yarn over and go through two and then go through two. Now I'm going to do single crochets and I'm going to go back to my pattern to double check that I'll be doing 10 single crochets in each 10 stitches. So let's count. One. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine, ten. Okay, now I'm gonna do an increase of double crochets in the next two stitches. So I'm gonna yarn over, go through my stitch, pull out, yarn over, go through two, and then work the next two off again. So yarn over, same stitch, yarn over, go through two, go through two. Next stitch, I'm going to do the same thing. Yarn over, go through two, go through two. Again, yarn over, same stitch, go through two, go through two. Okay, and those are my increases. Now I know I'm going to do single crochets. Now I have to see how many single crochets. And it says that I need to do five single crochets in the next 
five stitches and should be my last stitches. So let's see. One. Two. Three. Four. Okay, I'm going to put my little marker over, okay, and I'm going to start with round number seven, round number seven, okay, okay. and we're going to do, it says do a slip stitch in the next six stitches, okay. So I guess she wants to move without adding any stitches. So usually when you do slip stitches is because you want to move without adding any stitches. So let's try it. So that's one. Okay. Two. Two. Okay. Three. Three. Four, five, five, six. Now we have to do three double crochets in each in each of the next two stitches. So, in, we're going to look for our stitch. We're going to prepare our double crochet. We're going to yarn over and then we're going to go through, pull out, and we're going to do three of them in the same stitch. So that's one, and yarn through. Okay, hold on, let me, I'm working too tight. Let me just make sure I'm doing it correctly. Let me see. Okay, so this will be my next stitch. Okay, so I'm going to work through two, and then I'm going to work through two. And that's my first one, okay? Now I need to do two more, because I need to have three double crochets in the same stitch. So I'm going to do one, two, okay, so that's two. And then yarn over, come back, and work through two, and work through two. That's three, okay? Now I need to do, look for my other stitch, which is the next one. And I'm going to do three more there. So I'm going to prepare my hook, go through the next stitch, and then I'm going to go two, and then I'm going to go two. That's one. We need to do two more. So work through two, work through two. That's two. One more. Okay. So work through two, work through two. Okay, now my pattern is asking me to do a single crochet in the next 12 stitches, okay? So we're gonna, that's one, two, three, four, five, six, Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Okay. So now my pattern is asking me to do another increase of three. So I'm going to look for my stitch and I need to do three double crochets in that same stitch. So I'm going to prepare my yarn. I'm going to go through. I'm going to yarn over and work through two. And then work through two. And that's one. Okay. Same uh -huh. stitch. Yarn over. Work through two. 
work through two. Yarn over, go through, work through two, work through two. Okay, that's one increase. Now it's telling me that I need to do another increase in the next stitch. So I'm going to yarn over, go through two, and then go through two. And again, that was one. This is two. This is three. And I am done with these increases. Now, it says slip stitch in the next six <coughs> stitches. So the same thing. We're going to look for a stitch. We're going to pull through. And remember, you're going to, the same loop, you're going to pull it through the beginning loop. Okay? You can do it at once or you can do it in two steps. I do it in two steps. I find it easier. But you can go ahead and um, do it how you know how to slip stitch. So that was two. That is two, this is three, three, okay, three, okay, looking for the next stitch, okay, three, and then this is four, okay, this is five, and this is six. This is six, okay? I'm gonna look at my pattern. And it says, okay, 36, 12 slip stitches, 12 <coughs> stitches, and 12 double crochets. Okay, I don't know if I'm doing it right. Let me go ahead and um, check my pattern, and I'll be right back, okay? This is going to be round seven, okay? So I'm going to go ahead and do six slip stitches in the first six stitches, okay? I'm sorry, six single crochet stitches in the next six stitches. So that's going to be one, two, Three, four, five, six, six, and then I'm going to do two double crochets in the next two stitches. So I'm going to do two increases, and this is going to be my first one. So I'm going to prepare my hook. I'm going to go in, and then, then I'm going to work through two. Work through two, and then I'm going to yarn over, same stitch, work through two, work through two, and then on the next stitch, I'm going to do two more double crochet. So, one, two, okay, one, okay, so now I'm going to go ahead and do, I'm going to do um, single crochet. I'm going to do 12 single crochets in the next 12 stitches. So that's going to be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. So that's twelve, and now I'm gonna do an increase of two double crochets in the next two stitches. So I'm gonna do one, two, one, two, 
Okay. Now I'm gonna go ahead and do one single crochet in the next. So I'm gonna do single crochets in the last six stitches. So I'm gonna do one, two, three, four, five, six, okay, so that's six. And so I'm, I'm already done with this yarn. I'm going to be attaching more yarn, okay? So I'm going to go ahead and attach more yarn in a little bit. So I'm going to start round. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and do round eight. Okay, and I'm going to do a single crochet in the next seven stitches. And then I'm going to do two double crochets in the next two stitches. And then I'm going to do single crochet in the next in the next 14 stitches and then I'm going to do a single crochet in the last 7 stitches ok so I'm going to start so I'm going to start so that's going to be um, 1 okay. 1 one, okay, one, one, okay. one, one, and I'm going to find the other one, two, two, two. And I'm going to go ahead and tie the back since I'm adding more yarn just so that it doesn't fall off on me. Okay, it's nice and tight. So I just do a simple knot on it. Okay. So that was two. Three. Four. Five. Six, seven, seven, and I'm going to do an increase on the next two stitches. So I'm going to go ahead and yarn over to do my double crochets. So that's one, two, One, two, two. So that's my two increases. So now I'm gonna do fourteen single stitches on the fourteen next stitches. So I'm gonna do one, one, two. Eleven, 
Okay, now I'm going to do an increase, so I'm going to do a double crochet in the next stitch, I'm going to do two. So that's one, this is two, okay, and the next stitch I'm going to do two more double crochets, so that's going to be one, two, And then I'm going to do seven stitches on the next seven stitches. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, let's start with round nine. In round nine, we're going to do eight single crochets in the next eight stitches, and then we're gonna do a double crochet increase, and we're gonna do 16 stitches in the next 16, um, 16 single crochet stitches in the next 16 stitches, and then we're gonna do um, another increase, and we're going to do eight stitches so let's start okay we're gonna do one two two Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and then we're going to do a double crochet increase so that's going to be one two and let me add more yarn because I just ran out more yarn to this and all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do um okay, okay now I'm gonna do in the next stitch that's gonna be one two okay once I added the yarn I'm gonna go to the back and I'm gonna do a quick um, tie over so that I'm not losing any stitches or any yarn as I go along okay so that was one okay two and I'm done with the increase okay now I'm going to do 16 16 stitches 16 single crochet stitches so that's going to be one two three four five six seven Eight. 
11 12 13 14 15 16 okay now I'm gonna do an increase of two double crochets so I'm gonna go one one, two, and then on the next stitch I'm going to do one, two. And now I'm going to do eight single crochet stitches in the next eight stitches, which are going to be your last stitches. So you should have eight. So that's going to be one, 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 two, three, four, five, six. seven, eight. So that's my last stitches. My last eight stitches. Now I'm going to go to row 10 and I'm going to do nine single crochets in the first nine stitches. So it's going to be one, two, Three, four, five, six, seven, seven, eight, nine. And I'm going to do an increase of two double crochets. Okay, so I'm going to go one. I'm going to be working out. Oops, one. Same stitch. Two. And on the next stitch. You're gonna do another two. Okay. Oops. So that's going to be one. Two. Okay. And now I'm going to do 18. So you start getting the pattern. I'm gonna this is the last row I'm gonna do with you guys because the video is getting kind of long and um, I'll go ahead and tell you how many more patterns I did like this and the length that I got for the desire length I will um, remember I will write the pattern down in the description box as we go along so if you think that the video is too long you can go ahead and look at the pattern and try to um, do it stitch by stitch so again I'm gonna do 18 okay so that's gonna be one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven 
times 12 12 13 14 15 16 17 18 okay and I'm gonna do my increase remember it's gonna be two double crochets in the next two stitches so I'm gonna increase two stitches okay so that's gonna be this is my first double crochet and my second one in the same stitch and then I'm gonna do another double crochet in the next stitch and then this is my second one in the same stitch okay now I will be doing um, I believe it's going to be nine nine single crochets so that's gonna be one two three four five six seven eight eight nine okay I'm gonna go ahead and um, keep on checking my my doll and I'll tell you at what pattern I finish and and I'll go I'll come back when we do the last row because the last row is gonna change a little bit okay okay I'm in round 12 which will be my last uh, round I got it to the point where I want it as big as I I need it to be symmetrical to the other or relative to the other parts of the face so now for round 12 we're going to do something a little bit different we're going to we're going to let's see mm -mm -mm. we're going to slip stitch in the first 11 stitches okay so I know that sounds weird but that's what we're supposed to do so let's see one two three four five six seven eight eight nine ten eleven okay and now we're going to um, go ahead and and um, double crochet three double crochets in the next stitches okay and it's gonna be in the next two stitches so let's see okay I found my stitch and it's gonna be okay it's gonna be one two so that's one and this is going to be two and this is going to be three oops three now on the next stitch I'm gonna do three more so I'm gonna increase again so that's one two so that's two I need one more and that will be three 
Now I'm going to single crochet in the next. I'm going to do one single crochet in the next. I believe it's going to be, let's see, it's going to be 21 stitches. 22 stitches, I believe. 22 stitches, we'll see. So it'll be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine, ten, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22. Okay, so it's 22 single crochets. Okay, now I'm going to do another increase of three. So I'm going to look for my, for my stitch will be this one and I'm going to do three. So that'll be one double crochet. Two double crochets. Three double crochets. Okay, this is going to be another increase, so that's one double crochet, two double crochets, and three double crochets. And I'm going to go ahead and slip stitch on the next 10 stitches. I'm sorry, the next 11 stitches. So I'm going to slip stitch on the next 11 stitches, so that's going to be one. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, Eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Whoops, sorry, eleven stitches. Okay, and I'm gonna go ahead and fasten it off. So that was my 11 stitch. I'm gonna fasten off. Okay. And this is kind of how it looks. Okay, it's like a little, like a little triangle kind of cap kind of thing. And we're going to um, sew it on this and we're gonna fill it. And I'm going to go ahead and make the black nose that goes on top of the little snout, little muscle, whatever you want to call it, snout. And it's going to go like this. And the ears are going to go like so up here. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and um, work on the nose. Well, actually, I'm going to grab 
all of the yarn and needle that I need to go ahead and um, work on the nose, okay?